BCBeavers.com here with head women's basketball coach Mike Kerfman after a win against Minot State at the BC Gymnasium. Uh, Mike, uh, that first half, uh, I've seen that before over the last few weeks, uh, but really a uh, different team in the second half. Just talk about the flow of the game. Yeah, we've been in an offensive funk of late, you know, and just have, have struggled and, and, you know, we've got good looks. I thought in the first half we had a lot of good shots. It wasn't like we were just throwing up shots, but they weren't, they weren't falling. For whatever reason, there was a lid on the basket, and, you know, I thought really a key was in the second half, Morgan Lee comes out and gets fouled on a three-pointer and makes it, and then Shannon Thompson, you can't say enough great things about her tonight. She really came in and did a great job, hit some key three-pointers for us, and then down the stretch it was a lot of Lene Rash. I mean, Lene really made some big baskets for us and in between there there was a lot of contributions as well in the offensive end but I think the biggest thing was in the defensive end in the second half we held them to 22 points and we were able to get some steals and some easy baskets and some transition and I thought Melissa Youngblood and, and Jesse Altoff and Kate Warmack they, they all did a real good job Ellie Wesley uh, it just was a great team effort and I'm very proud it's a great way to end first semester. Despite missing uh, a lot of shots in the first half we're only down 10 at the half uh, compared to the last three games where it's been double digits into 15-20. Um, how important was that? And then uh, talk a little bit more about the uh, zone defense he implemented in the second half. Well, you're right. We've been we've been digging ourselves uh, deep holes as of late. And that comes because of uh, not making shots on the offensive end and then some silly turnovers that led to some easy baskets. Um, second half, we went to and played a little more zone, you know, kind of a swarming uh, two three zone, and, and uh, we got some good results from it. Just trying to just trying to snap out of it, you know. And, and like I said, Shannon was really key in helping us on the offensive end. I thought got us going, and I thought that zone helped us on the defensive end, uh, kind of just get us a little more energy and a little more fired up. Second half, you made shots, limited turnovers, played good defense. How important is that uh, in a win heading into break? Well, it's huge. We don't play now until January 4th. So if you don't, if you play two halves like the first half, we're going to have that all over break. And it just, you know, this is just a, it's a positive to build on. And it's a way to, we know we can play well. We know we can do some things uh, as a basketball team. And we just got to keep getting better. And, and uh, hopefully that carries into 2013. BCBeavers.com here with Melissa Youngblood of the women's basketball team after a win against Minot State here at the BC Gymnasium. Uh, Melissa, just kind of talk about the first half. It seems like... Uh, little deja vu in that first half, slow start, couldn't make shots, uh, but second half uh, really turned it on. Just talk about the full game a little bit. Yeah, I think the first half, I mean, we just couldn't really hit our shots, and it's kind of, I feel like we've been going through this in the past couple games, we haven't been able to hit shots, so coming into halftime, like, we kind of used to being down, so we got ourselves fired up, and then second half we came out and we were able to execute. Talk about uh, those three threes by Shannon. Uh, really turned the tides for BSU, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Like, just any player hitting shots like that is huge. It's just a huge momentum for the team. And especially coming from a senior like Shannon, it got us all really fired up. It was awesome. Talk a little about uh, the, the switch to the zone uh, defense in the second half. It really messed with Minot State. Uh, was that uh, a part of that uh, turning point? Yeah, I think the zone really, really helped us get this win. Uh, we had a few letdowns when we let him get in the high post and then that dump down. But once we got that all figured out, it really, really messed with them, and they got kind of frustrated, and that was to our benefit. Uh, you saw solid minutes tonight. Uh, how has your transition been to uh, Bemidji State and Division Two basketball? It was rough at first, for sure, but that's how it would be for pretty much anyone. It's getting a lot better, and I'm really excited. Hopefully, we can take this year all the way to the end and finish strong. How important is it to get a win uh, right before the holiday break? Oh, it's really important. It's good momentum going into uh, the spring semester, and Starting off in January, hopefully we can do pretty good. Bseries.com here with athletic, athletic trainer Becca Hessinger. Uh, Becca had a, uh, a moment there where we had to uh, attend to Shannon Thompson. She just hit three threes in a row, getting the team back in the game, playing good defense. Gets a, a good knock on the nose. Uh, does it a little more pressure on a trainer when a player like that has to come out of the game? Yeah, you're always basically required to get him back out as fast as you can. So. Obviously, when it's blood, you have to work a little harder. Um, how was, uh, was it cut deep, or how did that go? It wasn't deep, but anything on the face bleeds a lot, so she had it all over her jersey and the floor, but I saw, it nicely. <laughs> I saw head coach Mike Kerfman come over. Did he uh, try and hustle you up, or no, uh, was he all right? No, he was just making sure she was okay. Well, nice work, Becca. Hey, thanks.